Rafael Nadal lost the last match of his career and retired when Spain crashed out of the Davis Cup. Bodic van de Zanschulp has addressed his role in Rafael Nadal's retirement. The Dutchman beat the former number one in his last ever match on Tuesday when the Netherlands faced Spain at the Davis Cup. He dealt Nadal another blow when he teamed up with Wesley Kohlhoff to win the decisive doubles rubber, which sent Spain packing and ended the 38-year-old's career. While Van de Zanschel produced a statement performance against the Spaniard, he admitted it was very, very tough to be the man to retire Nadal. Van de Zanschel has been the MVP of the Dutch squad this week. He won three of his four matches to help his nation reach the final of the team tournament for the first time. But his first match of the week was arguably the hardest of them all given the noise and attention, as the world number 80 was Nadal's last opponent. There was speculation over whether the Spaniard would even play, but he was called up to face Van de Zanschulp. The Dutchman won 6-4-6-4 to, four, six to, four to put his country ahead. Spain still had a chance to progress and keep Nadal's career alive. Carlos Alcaraz won the second singles rubber, but it went down to the doubles. After beating Nadal in singles, Van de Zanschulp teamed up with Wesley Kohlhoff to beat Alcaraz and Marcel Granollers. With Spain out of the tournament, Nadal was immediately sent into retirement after having a few days to process his victories. The 29-year-old has now shared his experience of beating Nadal in his last outing. He announced his retirement that this was going to be his last tournament. A few weeks before the event, Van de Zanschulp told AS, so I had a lot of time to think about it before I played him. There was also the question of whether I was going to play or not. But then, during the week, he trained a lot. And I actually saw that he was going to play.